He's finally here, guys! Daredevil! Yes! It only took eight episodes. <laughs> Charlie Cox, he's back! He's back as Matt Murdock. Yay! Yay! We're all happy now. The show is good now. Yay! This is the it's the best show ever now. <laughs> no. Listen though, actually, surpri su uh, surprisingly, <laughs> this is the best episode out of the bunch, I believe. Honestly, at like honestly, that that's not like you know saying a lot, <laughs> you know, for the whole series as a whole. But it is the best out of the bunch. I, I would give this episode maybe a five out of ten. Everything else is like a three or a two even. But uh, I guess we had something here. There were things to talk about in this episode. There are things that were sort of enjoyable. Question mark? You know, you can you can maybe like debate me, like talk me down to like no listen, all right, uh spade. This uh <laughs> this episode sucked ass. <laughs> all these characters they still suck ass. I'm like listen, you're probably right. <laughs> like, I you're listen guy. <laughs> you're maybe maybe you're correct. <laughs> but you know, I'll take what I can get. I think we should all take what we can get, honestly, at this point. God, we just talk about the episode at least. I don't even need to really talk about the episode. There's one, or there's two, like, actual important things about the episode. The first, which has, oh my god, the biggest implications among Marvel that we've seen in a long time. Holy shit, why is it being a ta a t talked about now in episode 8 of She-Hulk? And it wasn't even talked about, it was just fucking glossed over. These fucking assholes talking about the cords. And the cords were peeled, apparently. These fucking assholes. Matt Murdock just brings it up like it's nothing. And then it's just glossed over. Fucking out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like, okay. So apparently, the cords, uh, the Sokovia cords have been appealed. We don't know when this happened. Uh, we don't know where this happened. Uh, we don't know even why this happened. But, uh, they, it, it's a thing now. I guess it explains why, you know, all these heroes can just do all this, you know, this spectacular amounts of, uh, property damage <laughs> everywhere. And no one gives a shit. <laughs> like, okay. Even, even in this episode, when, when Daredevil and She-Hulk are fighting, she, fucking Jen is just causing ex extreme amounts of casualties. Casual, ca <laughs> and I wouldn't say casualties. Property damage to to the fucking land. She's blowing shit up with it. And she's throwing cars and shit. And it's like, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> literally, literally a dialogue scene. Oh, all, all this property damage. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> like what the? Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> all right. Listen, all the, and all the. The best parts of this episode were just, like, seeing Charlie Cox come back as Matt Murdock. And most of it is, I think, nostalgia for me. I've watched the episode. I had to. I had to watch it four times. Just to, like, make sure that the feelings I was feeling weren't nostalgia. But were, like, is something actually happening here? Like, is this actually good? And I, I, <laughs> I believe it is. Is it the best? No, not the best. But is it, you know, passable in, in, a, in, a, in a way that these characters are elicit, eliciting feelings from me that are acceptable within the show and the timeline and the writing and the dialogue in the show and past, in past episodes and past series? Yes, it's passable. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what a, what a, like, a, not maybe not a loaded, like, statement, but geez, it's a mouthful. I guess it has to be, because well, the history of Daredevil and what and well what he's been through, and I need to like rewatch the Daredevil series in and of itself, because I I barely remember any of it, <laughs> honestly. I I guess that means I have to rewatch Defenders too. Holy, sh oh, I'm not looking forward to that <laughs> at all. Um, but yeah. So the the feelings I was feeling here, I'm pretty sure it just wasn't nostalgia. It was like, I don't, maybe the writers didn't actually intend for Daredevil here to be like a good part of the show, but uh, I think, I think he actually was somehow. It wasn't the best, but at least it was something better than, uh, what, what's been happening in this show so far. And it only took eight episodes, guys. It only took eight episodes. Jesus. Uh, let's just get to the, the part. We, we have the lawyer scene with Leapfrog here. He's not an important villain 
or hero. Leapfrog is just a rich kid with um, the ability to get money, to get a uh, uh, leapfrog power boosters on his legs, to leap, to leap, literally. He's unimportant to anything, even though he's basically a catalyst for this episode. Uh, honestly, don't know what to say about him other than, yeah, he's here, he's not good. <laughs> <laughs> he's just basically an excuse honestly it seems like to get Matt Murdock into like the scene of this of this episode and uh, that's that we should go to a more important scene it's not necessarily important honestly but um, sort of important we they after Matt here mops the floor with Jen and literally mops the floor with her he beats her in her case apparently she's uh, <laughs> uh, l woman lawyer of the year somehow, even though we've only seen her do uh, three cases, including this one in this episode, even though she gets her award in this episode. How are you, woman lawyer of the year? What have you been doing in this timeline? How long has it been since the show started? We have no idea. These, a these questions will never be answered. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Obviously, in these scenes, when Matt is talking to Jen, there is some sort of chemistry between these actors. And I I would be remiss to say that, okay, I'm happy something is happening. <laughs> okay. I, I, I like that there's at least something, right? Before, there was no chemistry between any actors. And it, I, I think it might just be like Charlie Cox here. He's just like really good at being Daredevil or Matt Murdock and, like, interacting with Jen and She-Hulk, you know, as characters. And they're not bad actors, so there's something there. I, I, I am feeling what the writers are intending me to feel. These characters have some sort of chemistry, and it pays off in this episode when they do the deed, all right? It, it pays off. You know, I'm not saying it's perfect. Listen, guys, it's not perfect, but it's... It's it's something. There's definitely something there, and it happened, and it was uh, good. Uh, one thumb up. One one thumb up. <laughs> Jesus, and uh, you know it was all right. <laughs> it you know uh, uh, how how else could this have been? I just maybe maybe it is literally just like Charlie Cox coming back as Daredevil again since Spider Man, and we're like, wow, he's really. He's actually supplanted himself in the Marvel Universe now. Not just the Netflix, not the, not just the Netflix series. He's part of it. He's actually part of the canon, which is nice. It's nice to see Daredevil part of the canon. Um, it's cool. All right, enough of that stuff. Um, all that was pretty much all this episode was about. It's just about Jen dealing with the course with Lee Frog, and then. Uh, this stuff with Daredevil. We get a little, um, not a fight, a tussle. We get a, we get a bullshit tussle between Jen and She-Hulk. Jen doesn't know. Matt is Matt. Uh, he reveals himself to her for some stupid reason. Doesn't matter. They're both superheroes, I guess. So they're allowed to. Uh, they just have a little tussle. Obviously, power level wise, Daredevil can never beat She-Hulk ever. He does a lot of moves, just like dodging and flipping around her attacks, which is like, oh, you know, that's good. Most of the CGI in this fight is very noticeable, but um, at least Charlie Cox is doing his best, I guess, as what he could do. This is what I said before. She-Hulk just causes massive amounts of, like, damage. She's throwing cars and, like, breaking parking lots and upending cement. Like, okay, Jed, chill out. But uh, again, uh, Daredevil can never beat She-Hulk. Let's get... it. Did, n n he just can't. It's impossible. So we get more scenes. At, at the end of it all, uh, they team up to fight Leapfrog, to gain back Jen's uh, tailor and Daredevil's tailor. They have the same tailor. It's the black guy making their suits. And they save him from Leapfrog. Leapfrog kidnapped him because uh, he won the case some reason and he wanted him to make him a new suit. Doesn't matter. It's all bullshit. Jen gets her, her, her dress back because he was making her dress for the Woman of the Year lawyer thing bullshit party they're going to. And that's when it happens. We have actual... Stakes in the show. Oh, I guess I should mention after after they have sex, they have a stupid scene here when uh, Daredevil literally leaves, and uh, it's described as Daredevil. Let's see him. Daredevil's walk of shame. 
listen, ladies running this show, men don't have walks of shame, all right? <laughs> Fuck. Listen, our boy Matt Murdock is happy to, you know, get his pee-pee, his blind pee-pee inside of Jen, all right? There's no, there's no shame. Listen, it, 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 like, if, you, if you're a guy, right, and if you have sex with, like, a blubbering 400-pound whale, there's still no shame. Because you had sex. <laughs> that doesn't... Like, any guy who had sex and knows another guy who had sex, like, hey, she's not the best man, but you got it in. Good job. <laughs> Maybe next time you get a little better. All right. There's no shame, though. Because we're all, we're all guys. It doesn't matter. Maybe on a girl's end, she'll have shame somehow for some reason. But guys, no. We, we like having sex. We don't care. <laughs> It doesn't, it just doesn't compute. The whole walk of shame thing just doesn't, doesn't actually matter. Anyway, that's just a stupid dialogue. doesn't matter. Uh, maybe, like, it, for those people saying that Daredevil was sort of, I thought Daredevil would have been destroyed in this episode, uh, very comically. I'm going to say he wasn't. I'm going to say any, maybe anybody saying he was absolutely destroyed and this isn't his character is maybe overblowing it a bit. Maybe it's because I don't remember exactly what his character was from the Netflix series. I just, it's been so long, I haven't revisited it in, like, years. But I, I'm going to say firmly that his character here is about the same as it was from the Netflix series. There's nothing particularly wrong with him. So I don't... I'm happy that they didn't d absolutely destroy him. So I don't know what Charlie Cox was on about in that, like, interview day. It was like, oh, Daredevil's never going to be the same after this. I don't know what... I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Apparently... Because... The characters have been basically the same. I mean, the really only thing that's different is his suit, which I'm not really happy with. I wish his suit was um, not this color design, but whatever. Maybe they'll change it again in Daredevil uh, Reborn. I know they're doing that. Uh, whatever. Just more stuff on Daredevil. His his part in the show is all right. And it took eight episodes, man, just for just for like this fucking like weird cameo for him to have sex with Jen. It's like, fuck, are they? I guess it makes sense. Two lawyers hooking up. Are they gonna get together in the future? Does it matter? Or does anyone really care about like the ship <laughs> about shipping Daredevil with Jen? I know I don't fucking don't. Thirty year old wine moms probably will though. They probably love it. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> oh well. All right, we got the more important part of the episode. And it's, um, it's kind of weird, all right? Um, let's see here. Uh, the, the, in the group of Intelligentsia slash Hulk King end up hacking the uh, party that the Women of the Year lawyers go to. And they show the sex, uh, sex uh, video. What's it called? What, what would you call it? Uh, sex scandal, I guess? Yeah, the sex scandal. It's a, it's a video Jen didn't want released, basically. Uh, her having sex with Asian boy, and they release it here, and it's like the people from Intelligentsia, and they look like uh, they release the video here. Jen gets super angry, and she 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 loses control. It's like wow, consequences. She destroys the studio, and then goes outside and beats on people, and then apparently. Uh, the cops are immediately here. They're just cops. They have, like, practical weapons that maybe... Sh they're not, like, guns. They're, like, laser guns. Because she's causing a huge commotion here. And it still looks like something's happening. But well, apparently these people are just waiting immediately for her. Even though, in the, in the, like, two episodes ago... Or, no, one episode ago, literally. Uh, there was that guy who said, We didn't have the resources to fight Abomination. But we have the resources to fight you, Jen. <laughs> As if, as if dialogue doesn't matter in the scenes. Apart from that, it's nice to know when Jen did something bad, she destroying property, that there are people on her ass saying, no, you can't do this, and it looks like there's going to be consequences for her actions. Will there actually be in the next episode, though? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Uh, Jen's probably going to be uh, vindicated in her case of going crazy and being uh, mean to the intelligentsia people. And she's going to end up destroying the Hulk King and the phone and the intelligentsia guys and the trolls and all the man lists that hate her. And she's going to be, you know, absolutely victimized in the best way possible for a girl. And she's going to have her way. It doesn't matter. I don't think 
these consequences are going to last, is what I'm saying. Um, and that's basically the episode. For an episode of She-Hulk, it was definitely the best of the bunch. Um, we had some sort of nice chemistry between Daredevil and She-Hulk. Daredevil, Matt Murdock, Charlie Cox in the episode. He did okay. He was a good actor. He did his lines. <laughs> I mean, he did... <laughs> It was all right. It wasn't as shit as all the episodes. Um, there, and then we have, like, some sort of consequences. Maybe stakes, quote-unquote, in the last part of the episode here. Um, will this last, though? I Again, I highly doubt it. I don't believe this will last uh, at all, actually, which is a shame. Maybe this would, you know, this would... Some stakes and consequences and, like, an actual plot would help the show. It's just saying, it, this is happening at, like, the last episode. I think the next episode is literally the last. So, it, it took it took nine episodes for plot to happen and consequences and anything, anything re- even re- relating to Marvel. You know, what we know of Marvel to be, to happen. Literally, like, the last episode. Like, why did they, why did it take so long? Would it, they've, the whole series has just been a shit, a pile of nothing. Absolutely nothing. The whole series is filler. Doesn't matter. And then they dropped that bomb about about the accords in this episode too. Like, holy shit! Why did this happen here? <laughs> like, what? This is this is like maybe the like the top level execs at Marvel Disney telling these writers, okay, listen, we I know you want to have your show about you know a why you know a thirty year old lawyers looking for love getting drunk every episode, but we have to we have to actually like insert something that's meaningful to Marvel in any way. So please, we're going to skip, well, you know, oh, you wanted this for episode eight? Or we're just going to cut all that. We're going to help you write something <laughs> that'll that'll be, like, entertaining, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Little writer's like, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I, can, I just imagine, like, the boardroom meetings of these execs talking to these women writing this series. Like, oh, my God, we can't have Jen drinking again this episode and getting hammered? Oh, but we can't have her having sex. <laughs> Jesus. All right. It was a, it was an all right episode. Still not the best, but this is this is She Hulk. Um, what happens next episode? I have no fucking idea. I'm writing I'm writing it out now. Uh, I'm just I'm just waiting for it to end. No, this show is gonna go down in infamy as one of the worst Marvel shows for sure. Probably worse than Miss Marvel. In fact, uh, I believe it is. <laughs> Miss Marvel was at least shorter. <laughs> in length, you know, <laughs> she all is too way too long of a series. All right, all right, all right, guys, I'm done ranting. You guys have a nice night. See ya.